Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at speed ratios and, well, really speed questions. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at question number one here, what we've got is a distance from Wellington to Napier is 320 k's. Uh, driving at an average of 100 k's per hour, how long will it take me to reach Napier? Now, what we're going to do is the first part of this question is fairly straightforward. You would just go 320 k's divided by 100 and that's going to give you 3.2 so we're going to go 320 uh, divided by 100 that gives me 3.2 where is my 3.2 there we go that's my 3.2 and we're going to write this as 3.2 hours <clears throat> now based on the calculator you have um, and, and and I guess sometimes this this is something people forget 3.2 hours is not the same as saying 3 hours and 20 minutes. Because remember, in an hour, there's only 60 minutes. So what you'll have to do, if you don't have this particular button in your calculator, because in these new calculators, you have this thing called format. You can click on it and go right down to uh, this uh, long word here, sexagesimal. I believe that's what it's called. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But you click on that, and what it does is it actually changes that... Um, number into a um, format where this is hours and minutes so instead of 3.2 hours you could have also write it as 3 hours and 12 minutes now going back to it I don't have this calculator what do I do now each of these different Casio calculators have a different way of doing it but in saying that there is another way to do this as well because we know that in um, one hour there's 60 minutes and we want to figure out how many um, minutes is 0.2 so all you do is 60 times 0.2 and that's going to give you that 12 minutes that you need for three hours and 12 minutes so let's have a look at question two question two you've got 360 kilometers for christchurch to dunedin so that's going to be 360 divided by oh, 90 i should have actually made it a little bit harder um but actually no no i should have made it harder this is just four isn't it oh this is just silly should have picked a harder number but anyway 360 divided by 90 this is going to take four hours no issues straightforward what about number three uh, let's say we've got um, distance of 200 kilometers and a speed of 80 now um, maybe I should change the question yeah let's change the question instead of 200 let's go with uh, 205 kilometers all right so if we do 205 kilometers and we are traveling at 80 kilometers per hour when we do this we're going to get 205 divided by 80 now that's going to give us uh what do we got here 2.5625 so when we do this i mean i'm just going to write this long first to kind of break it down further right so what we've got here is uh 2.5625 hours but realistically what does that mean in minutes and seconds so clicking on that format button and then heading over to sexagesimal and you've got the time that you need. What the time is, it's basically two hours, uh, 33 minutes and 45 seconds. Now, let's say we want to try and do this um, without a, um, what do you call it, without this button, right? So what you would then need to do is you would have to go 0.5625 times 60 first now what this is going to give you is 33.75 minutes so all i've done there is i've actually looked at 0.5625 hours and i multiplied it by 60 to get 33.75 minutes now i also know that there is um, 60 seconds in one minute so that means 0 0.75 minutes times 60. That should give me how many seconds it is. So if I go 0 0.75 multiplied by 60, that gives me 45 seconds. Now, what you'll no notice is, uh, you know, even though I don't have this particular button, if you don't have this particular button in your calculator, you can always do it this method to figure out the two hours, uh, 33 minutes, and 45 seconds um, that's just another way you could actually do these types of questions and that pretty much covers our speed and ratio questions all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video 
and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.